Hello. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use the loft tool that works to extrude a shape along a path. Before start, you should have a previous knowledge about the basics of 3D Studio Max. For this, you can check my other tutorials on the webpage www.macrotutorials.com. This tool is pretty easy to use. Let me show you a sample. So, I'm going to create a line. It's easy. On the command panel, click on the create tab. And here, select shapes. Here appears the different 2D shapes that you can create on 3D Studio Max. To create a line, click on line. And click anywhere on a viewport. Now, click on other place. To finalize the line, right click. To create a curved line, again, click on line on the command panel. And, click on the viewport. Now, click on other place and hold it down. As you can see, the line is curved. Release the left mouse button. And click again. Like in this last click we didn't cap down the mouse. The line becomes straight. If you continue this line, make more clicks on the viewport. A part of the line is curved and another is straight. Well, to finalize this line or path, right click. If want that this path be all formed by straight lines or be all formed by curved lines. Make sure that the path or line is selected and in the command panel. In the modify tab. Expand the line components, clicking on this plus sign. And select vertex. Now, you can select the vertices that compose the path. If you select these vertices. With a right click. Appears this list. If you click on corner. The path appears composed by straight lines. Right click again. And if you select smooth. The line or path becomes curved. If you want more information about how to modify a line, you can check my other tutorials about how to model a wine glass using splint and how to model a baseball hat. To finalize the addition of this path, click on vertex. Well, now we have two paths. Let's draw some shapes. So, in the command panel. In the create tab. Click on shapes. You can create different shapes, like a circle. Just click circle. And, click anywhere you want on the viewport and keep a press while move the mouse. And release the mouse button. If you want to use measures, write a measure at the bottom of the command panel. Here. The same way, you can create a rectangle. Click on rectangle. Click and keep it pressed. Drag the mouse. And release it. Also, you can use measures, if you want. Even, you can make round corners, like this. Also, you can create other shapes. Or create your own shapes. To use the loft tool, select a path. One of these lines. And on the command panel. On the create tab. Click on geometry. Now, the selected standard primitives. Click on this arrow, and. In this list, select compound objects. Here, is loft. So, click on loft. Below it. Click on get shape. Here. And click on any of the shapes. Note, that the shape is extrudes along the path. Also, appears this X. C. Like this object is already selected, if you press the keys Alt and X on the keyboard. You can see trough the object. Well, this X indicates where in the path was applied the shape. In the section of path parameters. In path, increasing or decreasing this percent. Like this. The X moves along the path. C. You can move it as you want, or specify a percent.
Once, you have located the X where you want, click on Get Shape. And now select the shape you want. As you can see the geometry of the object changes. Pressing Alt and X on the keyboard. is easy to see it. The program automatically adjusts the transformation between the shape and the other. If you expand the skin parameters section, clicking on this plus sign. You can increase or reduce the detail level of the geometry. If you increase or reduce the shape steps value, change the number of vertical divisions. Like this. And changing the path steps value, change the number of horizontal divisions. Well, you can continue changing of shape along the path, as you want. Only increase or decrease the path value, this way. And as get shape is already active. Just select a shape. Again, the program automatically adjusts the geometry of the object. See. The current shape appears on green. To inactivate get shape, right click anywhere. Or click on get shape. OK. Under get shape is selected the option of instance, when you edit one of the shapes used on the object, the geometry of the object changes. For example, select the star. And in the modify tab. If you change the number of points, also changes the number of points of the shape used in the object. Select the object. You can continue adding shapes along the path, as you want. As this looks like a column. Let's try to create a column. So, move the X to the other extreme of the path, is easier to visualize the X if you press Alt and X on the keyboard. Increase the path value. Now, repeat the sequence of shapes, but in reverse order. So, click on Get Shape. And, select the rounded star. Now, move the X along the path. As Get Shape is already active, just click on Other Shape. Click on the small circle. This starts to look like a column, now move the X to the top, increasing the path value. And, like Get Shape is already active, so click over Other Shape, the big circle. This looks more like a column. You can edit the shapes, to refine your object. Select the object. And on the Modify tab. If you click on Get Path. And select the curved lines that we create at the beginning. Now the column is curved as the path. You can leave like this or return to the previous path, clicking on Get Path. And clicking on the other line. Well. On the command panel. On the modify tab. If you expand loft. Clicking on the plus sign, here. You can select the shapes or the path. Selecting shape. You can select any shape on the object. Like this. And, with one or more shapes selected you can move it, this way. Or rotate it. Or scale it. To finalize the addition of the shapes, click on Shape in the command panel. At the bottom of the Modify tab on the command panel is the Deformations section. Expand it, clicking on this plus sign. This tutorial will continue. Find the second part of this tutorial in www.macrotutorials.com.